Hey my awesome rebels, it's your girl Rocky here and today's video is going to be a haul video and I'm super excited because I pretty much broke my bank. I spent a lot of money buying things that I need but I don't need them at all but I justified each and every single one of them so get ready because this is gonna be a pretty dang good haul we are gonna get into my haul so if you guys are interested in anything that I got today then let me know by hitting that like button and leave a comment down below tell me what things you liked or what things you tried that I may have gotten so let's get into this haul and see everything that I got today I spent quite a lot of money today so so we're gonna we're gonna explore where my mom went when I was purchasing all these things so the first place that I went to was Costco and apart from like all the food that I bought I bought these two things and one of them is like a repurchase basically it's these gummies you know how like Kylie Jenner Kim and all those Kardashians post like those gummies and then I was like okay whatever like I literally don't care about trends these aren't even the ones that they get sponsored from just the whole aspect I just didn't really care about and then my mom bought these and I was like why did you buy them and she's like oh because it says it grows your hair and like stuff like that and I was just like oh okay and I didn't really mess with it but then one day I was at Walmart and I saw that they were on sale for like $11.99 and I was like asked my mom like is that a good deal and she's like I think that's the same price as Costco and I was just like okay so then I picked up two of them which is so stupid because I didn't know and my mom told me afterwards that you get more at Costco for the exact same price so I think it's on sale because it's usually like 16 bucks or whatever a Canadian at Walmart and Costco but you get more at Costco so this is one of the ones I bought from Walmart and you get 165 gummies in here and it was $11.99 and in this one you get 220 gummies and it was exact same price when I saw that I was just like I already bought two at Walmart and you know but I just was like it's such a good deal how could I not cuz I've been on the kick with them I I don't even overdose like I really want to overdose but I never overdose on them because it's like you can't it's like medicine but they taste really really good and they should because I think they have a bit of sugar in them and gluten and all that yummy gooey stuff that I can't eat because yes I am on my diet so yeah but this says that it helps to support nail health which gives me more to chew on helps the body to metabolize carbohydrate fats and proteins so that is amazing for the journey that i am currently doing and helps in development and maintenance of bones teeth and gums helps in wound healing Ugh. girl because i i make a lot of boo-boos so that'd be good for me um antioxidant for the maintenance of good health oh and helps maintain health of normal hair and skin what my hair ain't normal anyway so basically it means it like helps grow your hair or maintain it or something and metabolize it it's just basically full of good stuff and i already had my dose today which is two gummies and they look like little nuggets and like the inside smells so good like when you open the jar the room just smells like strawberries but yeah so i've been on it and i've been liking it so far i don't know if i see results like i don't know what to compare it to i don't know the results i think it is working though because i feel like my nails have been growing a little longer but then again i haven't really been on this that long so i'm not too sure but keep that in mind so i got big package of this and i really enjoy it so i figured why not because i'm on this kick now the next thing that i got at costco is this set here and it's kind of heavy here it is Huzzah! i saw this this was like 10 something so 11 dollars. and usually body washes are like at least like the cheapest you'll find is like three bucks each so this is sale right here i sniffed every single one of them in the store and they all smelled freaking good in their own way like I'm actually excited to go take baths and you know dwell in this dwell I don't know and saturate my body in all this luxurious smelling fruity goodness tropical I see I see I berry I can't pronounce that save my life juicy pomegranate and mango infusions sweet honeysuckle and orange peel or citrus splash and berry fusion this was like a no-brainer to me to buy they just look so pretty though but it's like damn heavy and then i got a big bag here full of stuff so we could just look in i did go to my favorite store 
Dollarama. Just kidding, but like, kind of is. I don't know. So at Dollarama, I just got these cotton pads because I use it to take off my makeup. And I just go through these kind of a lot lately. I kind of steered away from like makeup wipes because I found that they were really just hurting my skin. If that makes sense, like my skin felt very irritated. It felt almost like a burning sensation. And even if I went close to my eyes, it would just really hurt. And then I would stop using it near my eyes and just, you know, focus it around my face. And even then it felt like almost like it was burning. So I just really kind of steer clear of the makeup wipes from now. I mean, it could just been the makeup wipes I've been using, but I've used a lot of makeup wipes and those were the ones I used were the Equate Makeup Wipe ones and, you know, they've been good to me for a while and, I don't know, just recently they've been making me, my skin hurt, I don't know. I don't really, I'm very picky when it comes to my makeup wipe so I just kind of steered clear away from it and I found a new way to take off my makeup and I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, so I just used these to take them off. So the next place that I went to is... Sephora, of course. And it always bums me out when they don't give me a sample. Every time I leave, I always forget that they didn't give me a sample. And I'm just like, aren't you supposed to do that? But you don't, so. But I actually spent, like, a lot of money on Sephora. Well, what I consider, like, a lot of money on Sephora. And they didn't give me anything, so I was kind of bummed about that. And I didn't realize until, like, I got home. So, you know, whatever. But just remember when you go to Sephora, tell them to put samples in your bag. Because, like, that's a thing. You gotta let a girl know that you want your samples. The first thing that I got is the Sephora Jumbo Black Eyeliner Pencil. I go through these. You guys see me use those, like, countless times. This is my go-to. I've tried so many eyeliners and even upscale eyeliners and this one's the most pigmented this one's the most like stay on stay true i've gone through a lot of eyeliners and i really 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 like this one so yeah it's a matte black one it's just a big jumbo sephora brand eyeliner that's it um and then this is my big splurge i got the mark jacobs foundation but they had like Four testers missing and those were like my shade so I couldn't really tell which shade was mine but I picked up the 12 ivory which is the second lightest shade and I thought it was gonna be the lightest but I wasn't because they had the tester for the lightest one and she's like that ain't you so you go to the next one and I was just like all right cool yeah I'm not gonna open it it's just a foundation it's like full coverage if you guys know me, you know I have a lot of redness. Um, I actually went to a dermatologist. He told me that it's not rosacea, it's actually genetics and there's nothing I can do about it except for mask it with makeup or something, you know what I mean? Or you can put cream on it to like soften it up, but regardless, it's genetics. It's gonna be there regardless and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, and I've never come across a foundation that can really cover up my face. And I've tried many foundations. I've tried many testers. Like, I've even tried Kat Von D Locket foundation. And that was alright, but it didn't do as good of a job. Like, I could still see it sometimes. And it was just not as good. And I would try testers of the Marc Jacobs one. And holy crap, my world had changed. Like, it was just, it covered up all my redness. Like, anything and everything. And... Simply Nessa 15 raved about it, Tana Mojo raved about it, and like so many other people. And I was like, okay, let me try it. So when I got the tester, I was like, shook. Like, I was shooketh. Holy crap. So this is Marc Jacobs Remarkable. It's so good. I. This is literally my favorite thing today. Like, I was so happy to get it, but like, I cried a tear because it was so damn expensive. I think it's worth it I really do and I was justifying it because my mom's like you're gonna go to a wedding soon so you know you could just do your makeup using that and I was just like yeah I keep justifying my reasons for spending money please thank you I got that super happy and hyped about that and the last thing that I got so far wasn't really my thing that I got but I stole and I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants it but I'm pretty much gonna take it I already have this that's why I'm a greedy bitch but I love it so much and it is the birthday thing that you get and it's Tarte one and it's a liquid lipstick which the liquid lipstick is my tried and true. I love that shade and I even tried the blush and you guys know how I feel about blushes because I'm so like I have so much redness and stuff but when I wear a good foundation I can pull off this blush 
and like I've tried it with other foundations and like this blush is so pretty so it's a win-win for me so as soon as the girl was like to my mom oh what package of birthday thing would you like and I was like the tart one thank you and my mom's like isn't that for me and I was just like no I'll ask her but she'll probably give it back to me so so the next place that I went to was Mac and I didn't get too much I literally got one thing technically two things and it looks like Kylie Jenner packaging if I might add but it looks like this and basically they had a deal for like you get two like a lip liner and a lipstick and it's like I don't know like instead of paying $42 for a lipstick and the lip liner you could pay like 30 something so it was like $10 off pretty much and I only wanted the lip liner on Whirl and she told me that there's the duo pack so you get the lipstick and the lip liner and I wasn't really like going for the lipstick but I mean it's just Whirl, MAC lipstick, MAC lip liner. It just looks like that but this is so Kylie Jenner packaging. You guys know that Whirl is like my try and chew lip liner like I've gone through this is my third one now and that's because I was slacking because I was literally working with nubs like like this big to put on my lip liner and I just kind of gave up and like would throw on a lipstick because I don't got time to sharpen it couldn't even sharpen anymore it's so tiny so just never got around to repurchasing it and then today it was like I'm spending so much money I might as well go all out so that's why I did and then the next place that I went to is NYX or MIX and they recently got one well I don't know I haven't been in my mall I don't go shopping that often unless it's like Walmart Dollarama Dollar Tree completely honest and I don't like to really go shopping unless like I'm on a mission or unless I really need to or something like that so I haven't gone to my mall in like a freaking long time okay and everything's changed and like it looks so bougie so nice there it actually looks like a upscale mall now they added a NYX and I was super stoked because there's one near my boyfriend and you know that's where I thought I could only get the stuff but now there's one at my mall so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about that and I really love NYX because it's so affordable but it's like in between high-end and like affordable and I just really digs it so the first one that I got is the micro brow pencil and I kind of used it today but kind of not I kind of mixed it with my Anastasia brow one and I got this like a couple days ago that's why I used it and thought I would just put it in the haul because I just got it and I just tried it for the first time this morning and it was pretty light like going on I don't know if that's supposed to be the thing or that but I have to definitely play around with it and see what the hype is but the brush on this was phenomenal so I was pretty happy about that and then the other thing that I got like a couple days ago that I actually did try as well is this matte liquid liner and I always go there and I'm just like what's the liner that's always swelling out and they're like oh we're sold out of it and I was just like okay and then I went in and the store was literally closing and I was like I just grabbed the brow one and then I was like hey so what's the liquid liner that like is always sold out and she's like the matte one and she's like it's the last one so I picked it up and I tried it today and I actually really enjoyed it and I'm surprised because it's like a felt tip and I'm not too keen on that and I really 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 enjoyed this that's saying a lot and it's the first time so and then the last thing that I got from NYX is this and I'm currently wearing it but I'm also wearing like a lip liner underneath and a dot of like lipstick on top because you couldn't really see on camera so I thought I should and it's pretty I just feel like I need to learn how to use it and work with it and it is very light but I kind of liked it I just need to play around with mixing colors with this because I think that would be really cool and that's why I kind of got it the name is Silk Indulgent and it is a really 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 pale peachy nude and it looks super gorgeous the next place that I went to was Walmart and I only picked up a couple things the first thing is how 
how I take off my makeup now. I already have a bottle here. I have a bottle already started. I have a bottle somewhere else. I just have a bottle everywhere because I really like this stuff. And honestly, at first when I got it, I didn't like it. Because the feeling, when it hits my fingers, I get kind of grossed out. It has like a filmy texture. I really need a makeup remover. This one is huge and the same price as all the other ones, but like way more of the product. So I was like, I'm all for a bargain, so let me try it. I got it and I really am obsessed with it. I think it does a really good job. This is the blue one. This is the one that basically like takes off the, the waterproof makeup and then, you know, you just swipe it around and it removes it all. So really like this. This is a repurchase now. And then the other thing that I picked up is also a repurchase and it is the Ready Set Gorgeous foundation. I know I just bought a foundation, but this is more for like every day. And also I really want to savor the other foundation. So I think I'll be doing like this like all over my face and then doing the other one in like my more problematic areas and that's just me trying to save a buck. I'm always going towards Ready Set Gorgeous because it's a good price for how much you get and it does a really good job so why not. The only thing is I kind of wish I was like a tad lighter for my skin but this is the lightest shade so I really like this stuff. I have gone through bottles of bottles of bottles of bottles of bottles of this. And so the last place that I went to is Torrid. You guys I've addressed this so many times about how I made a video on Torrid and how I didn't like my first impression going there because it was insane. They were just not trained and mind you I don't know why I got hate I don't know on it because I was just giving my honest opinion and I like stand by it like my first impression was horrible and it was a different location than I am now but the thing is I guess it was so new that they weren't trained or it was new for all the machines I was just giving my honest opinion but I also said in the video it could be that they're new it could be that it's like a brand new store but I hope they're all not like that and the one that is in more in my area I've been there multiple times and every time like the staff is so nice so helpful just got along really well with them they all been really 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 good like really good like I'm not just saying that like I'm a I'm an honest person and they were super helpful and I got everything I wanted and I got a lot of stuff so the first thing that I got I am not gonna show you completely okay because I just don't want to is this sexy number here it's a swimsuit however I was literally like to my mom I'm like I'm gonna wear this as a top and she's like you're crazy and I'm like no like this is me and I was justifying getting this because um yes I'm a bigger girl but it was kind of baggy this was in the clear everything was in the clearance section let's just get that straight out this was the only size they had and it's a really big size but at the same time like I needed a cup size that was huge and like this one is like I don't know it fits I don't think it fits so much down below because I'm a little bit smaller but you know I have skirts that can cover up that and I can make it work I can really make it work and I feel like I'd be wearing this like look how pretty this is okay like this is like a pretty corset pink and black are my signature colors if I were ever to get a swimsuit this would be it and this one was on sale so this is originally 108 and then it was on sale for $70 I got that it looks super pretty as hell and I might wear it just as a shirt like you know like the onesies what do you call them why am I feeling these boobies up I don't know that's weird one piece it's like a one piece but it's a swimsuit but I'm gonna wear it like a one piece because it's so damn pretty the next thing that I got is kind of interesting I didn't think I would grab it and then I tried it and it's actually super super pretty and it definitely looks prettier on than probably in camera but it is just this jacket here I don't even know how to show it you guys it's just a jacket it's just an orange jacket I look really good in like pastels and bright colors and this looks so gorgeous on me like my mom was just like yeah you kind of need to get it and I was just like yeah I know so this was originally $73.90 and it was on sale for $61.98 which is still pretty dang pricey but everything in the clearance section was buy one get one half off it's really pretty what can I say so the next thing that I got is this pretty top here it is just really pretty blue sheer top right away I knew I had to get it and it was originally $48.90 and then the sale price was $32.98 and again buy one get one half off and then the last one that I got looked so pretty on me like you have no freaking idea so this is it it looks like this It just drapes down. The color looks so bomb on me. And then the last things that I picked up are these Torrid leggings. And I've had a few pairs and I really, really enjoyed them. So 
I just got two more because I go through black leggings all the time. If you know me, that's what I wear every single day is black leggings and like cute top and whatever. So, had to pick those up. It was definitely a successful trip. And that is everything that I got from my shopping trip. I spent a heck of a lot of money. Though I'm not proud of it, I'm really happy about my purchases because it's everything that I kind of wanted. So, I'm definitely happy about that. If you tried anything out or if you got something that I like or you got any comments or questions or complaints you could leave it down below and you guys can like this video so I know to make more videos because I know I took a break and I know you guys are mad at me but I'm sorry and if you guys want you should subscribe to my channel I'm really trying to post more <laughs> you guys are so dope and I appreciate every single one of you if you guys want to look at my media it's in the description box below I got my YouTube one and then I got like my business for photography and film down below so if you guys want you can check them both out and if you guys want you should become part of the rebel family and just subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and until next time peace